So this is, believe it or not, the doorbell um, that belonged to my parents on that old front door that they took off a year or so ago. So we can see it's made of two main parts here, some plastic casing containing the internals and the actual button, the doorbell itself, that went on the front door connected to a wire going into the main body of the device itself. So if we can take off the front cover here, we can see a little bit of what's inside it. And we can see it is made up of four batteries. There are a couple of chimers, one at each end. Um, there's a little um, metal box in the middle of here, which if we were to take that apart, it would contain a little coil of wire called a solenoid. Um, and there's a little metal arm here, which is um, probably made out of iron or steel or something like that. But in theory, it could be made of nickel or cobalt as well. And what we see here is if we push the button, this happens. So the arm, first of all, moves in one direction and then moves in the other direction. To look at this in a little bit more detail, if I just push the button, button and hold it down, we can see because I have pushed the button, I've effectively closed the switch. So I've made the circuit complete. Because the circuit is complete, that has allowed a current to now flow throughout the circuit. And that current flows through the coil of wire, the solenoid inside this metal box here. Now, anytime you have a current flowing through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. And because it creates the magnetic field, it attracts the iron or steel arm towards it. And then it goes through the, um, th it pulls it all of the way through to hit the chimer on the other side. Now, if I let go of the button, we can first of all see here that there's a little spring that's been compressed by it. So if I let go, it breaks the circuit because the spring is um, storing elastic potential energy. That energy has now been released. It pushes the arm through to the other side so it hits the other chimer. So one more time, push the button, it completes the circuit, current flows through the solenoid, turns the magnetic field on, hits the chimer on one side, let go, circuit is incomplete, it is now broken, the spring uh, releases the elastic potential energy and it hits the other chimer on the other side.